Hello. This is the command line crash course. If you don't know how to use the command line or even what that is, then this is a quick, very quick video combined with an appendix for Learn Python the Hard Way that will show you how to do it. The purpose of this video is to just give you enough PowerShell, Microsoft Windows skill to be able to go through the book. And you should be able to do it really fast and then also refer back to it whenever you need. You still should go through the book, but I'm going to blaze through these super fast so you can kind of get an idea of what you're going to do and how I recover from different problems and different things that I might run into. Okay, let's start off right away. Read all that stuff. Read the setup, but the gist of the setup is you're going to set yourself up with some PowerShell. How are you going to do that? Let me actually close this PowerShell super quick. Go down here to the search. Click on the PowerShell, not PowerShell ISE, just PowerShell. There you go, ready to rock. Okay. Now for the instructions. There's a bunch of commands for both Linux and Windows that you should make flashcards for and memorize. That'll help you. Uh, get through this really quick, but you don't have to do the memorization right away. Just kind of make some cards and kind of like uh, memorize them as you go or, you know, periodically over the next, say, week. And then we have the first exercise. Very simple. You're going to type PWD. That's it. All right, that's how the command line works. You get yourself a shell, like PowerShell, you type words in, and those words end up being things that the computer knows how to do, like print the working directory. All right, let's go to the next one. Next one is what to do when you get lost. Very simple. Type PWD to figure out where you are. Type CD tilde to get back home. Very simple. We're going to do this before each exercise. Next exercise. Make a directory. I'm going to do something really quick. Okay, make a directory. PWD to figure out where we are. CD tilde. The make a directory is just this. Make der temp. There we go, I made a directory. I'm going to type each of these commands here. Made that directory. made that directory. And now, I'm just going to do this whole thing. And there we go. Whole thing is made. That's it. That's all these exercises are, is you just type the stuff in, follow along, it should work. Okay, and again, make sure you read through the book. In fact, as I get further along in these, I'm not going to type them all out. I'm actually just going to introduce it and make you do the actual work. All right, next we got change directory. That's the cd command. Really simple. Remember, pwd to figure out where you are, cd tilde to go to the beginning, and now we can do the first part. Going to go to the Windows part, all right. CD temp, PWD. You already know PWD, prints your current working directory. See how CD changed my current working directory, right? Great. Okay, next is CD stuff. PWD, there we go. Next is things. PWD. See how the PWD matches what you see in your PS right up here? Simple. 
It's just keeping track of where you are. That's all it does. Next one, Frank. That's what happens when you get an error. Just ignore it. Or don't ignore it. Look at it. See what it is. PWD. CD Joe. PWD. CD Alex. PWD. We're now at the end of that. Now we do a little bit of going up. You can think of going into these directories as going down. Dot dot. It brings me up. So let's see. We got three of these. CD dot dot. CD dot dot. Oops. Dot dot. Dot dot. PWD. There we are. Awesome. Oh, we need to be one more down. Let me go back. Frank. Joe. Alex. John. CD dot dot. CD dot dot. CD dot dot. PWD. Cool. See how it matches? So I got lost, right? So I could just start over here. I could do the tilde, CD tilde to start over, or I could figure out where I was and go back to where I needed to. Okay, next one. CD dot dot slash dot dot. There we are. We're on track now. CD dot dot. CD dot dot. Awesome. So now the final command. CD temp stuff things. Frank, Joe, Alex, John. CD temp stuff things. Frank, Joe, Alex, John. See if I got that right. There we go. Now, CD dot dot. That gets me above from John to Alex. Dot dot again. Alex, Joe, Frank, things, stuff, temp. So that should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got one too many. There we go. That's how you use the up and the down. Next exercise. Listing a directory. Pretty simple. Got to do my reset. PWD. CD tilde. Make sure I'm always in the same place when I start these. Go back. CD temp. LS. It lists out my directories. CD stuff. LS. CD things. And see how I can now see what's in that directory. LS lists the directory. Frank. LS lists the directory. Show. LS lists the directory. CD Alex. LS. CD John. LS. Nothing in John. Great. Let's see if that was what we should have done in the thing. And there we go. And then we can use cd dot 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 to go up. I'm just going to wing it. cd dot 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 dot. ls cd dot 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 dot. ls. Cool. Follow the exercise. But it's the same same basic thing. All right. rmdir. This removes the directory as long as it's not empty. Okay, this is what the CD tilde is for. I did the previous exercise a little wrong so that I could show you the CD tilde. If you just try to do these blind, you just try to follow these instructions blind and not pay attention to where you are, you will be lost. If you just try to do them right here, it's not going to work. Look at the command. rmdir. John. It's not going to work. There's no John here. You can do ls to see. There's no John. So if you did rmdir John, isn't going to work. you got to pay attention. got to look at what's in the directory. Where am I? I'm in stuff. Look at the instructions. Where does it say? In temp. Okay, so you're lost. Here we go. PWD. I'm in stuff. I need to be in the root, and then I need to go into temp. Now I've reset where I'm supposed to go. Let's continue. Let's do CD stuff. Things, Frank, Joe, Alex, John. Things, Frank, Joe. There we go. Hidden LS. There's nothing there. All right. CD dot dot. Armder John. CD dot dot. Armder Alex. CD dot dot. Armder Joe. CD dot dot. Armder Frank. Oh. There we go. RMDER Frank. That oh, made a mistake. See that? 
No problem. CD dot dot. LS. All that's left is things. RMDR things. CD dot dot. RMDR stuff. Just removed everything. Okay, make sure you go through that exercise too. Okay, what's our next one? Next one is pushing and popping. Okay, we're gonna do this. CD, PWD, CD tilde. Make sure we get back to our start. CD temp, so we can go into our temp directory. Then the first command we're gonna run is a make dir dash p. I like ice cream. There we go. Made that directory. And remember, dash P isn't necessarily needed on Windows, but it's a good habit to get into because it's used in Linux. It means create the entire path. So that creates I like and ice cream all in ones instead of doing three different make dir commands. Okay, so I do push D. I like. Great. PWD. I'm now in I like. Yep. Okay, next up, CD, or sorry, push D, ice cream. Now we're in the ice cream directory. Now I'll pop D. That takes me back to where I was then, PWD, and pop D again, PWD. So it's like a history command. It's like CD with history. You can pop D and push D and all that good stuff. Okay. There we go. Let's make some empty files. Remember again, pwd, cd tilde, starts me over, right? cd temp. Let's use this one, new item. That's the Windows command. New item. I am cool. There we go, it made an empty file. That's it. Okay, now we copy. Remember, PWD, CD tilde. Do it every single time, so that way you start off. Don't get lost because you're just blindly typing stuff. Always reset. That's how my command or my command line crash course works. It's a crash course. All right, we're gonna do CD temp. CPIM cool TXT to neat TXT. Do an ls and we see, there we go, I am cool, and that one. And those directories from the uh, last uh, ice cream exercise. Okay, let's try another one. cp neat d2 awesome txt. cp awesome txt to the fourth file, the fourth file txt ls. Make dir something. Now we're going to copy some files into the directory. CP awesome txt into something. And then we look at what's in something. See how I can do that? I can, I can do ls on a directory to see what's in the directory before I go into it. So it's kind of like looking ahead. And when finally we're going to do cp-r, that's a recursive. Copies whole directories to new place. Rock, all right, ls new place. And what do we see? The same contents that was in something in new place. And there we go. All the same stuff. Let's move some files. Again, make sure you reset. PWD, nope, not in the home. Go to the home. Okay, cool. Exercise starts over. CD temp. Next up, we want to move awesome to uncool.txt. LS. Now we got an uncool file. See right there? Uncool. <laughs> okay, let's move new place. We can move directories. LS again. 
See how new place is no longer there and old place is? There we go. Okay, that's moving files and directories. Okay, next command. Here we go. I made a text file. And I can just do some stuff. Whatever I want. And I saved it. In this directory. Now remember, you should know how to do this already, but just in case you don't, I'm going to make another text file really quick. Watch. Make the text file. Put some stuff in there. You go to save it. What you want is pull this down. Z. You would have a different name. Temp. Right there. And I could call this uh, cheese. Whatever I wanted. Okay, that's how you do it. So that's how I did this one. If I go on a look at doing LS again, I got cheese. Okay, more. Here we go. More test.txt. That's it. It just prints out the stuff that's in there. Its advantage, though, is when you do this. See, I have more lines there. Save that one. Now it says more at the bottom. So what it does is I hit enter. I can see the rest, or I can hit spacebar and see the full screens at a time. That's all it does. Okay, I'm going to undo that. There, back to the original file. Okay, next one. We make another file called test2. I'll do that super quick. There we go. We got ourselves a test2. Now I'm just going to do cat. Cat is the command we want to use. Cat test2.txt. There we go. And cat test.txt. So the difference with cat and more is, you remember in the last exercise I made a giant file and more would stop when it reached a screen full, like a terminal full? Okay, cat just spews things out. Okay. The next thing in the do more, I can also do both of those files like this. There we go. That's the two files combined. Okay. Oop. So remember the reset. Get back to my shell. PWD, CD tilde. Okay. Next exercise, we're going to remove files. That's with the rm command. Here we go. All we got to do, CD temp. Then we're going to check what's in there. It's always good to look before you just go destroying stuff. And I'm going to remove uncool, rmuncool.txt. Do an ls again, you see, it's gone. Okay, let's look, um, do, 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 look at the next one. Uh, next one we're going to do I am cool, neat, and the fourth file. Rm, I am cool, txt. Rm, neat.txt. Rm, uh, fourth. See? Do an ls, they're all gone. Check it out. Now we're going to recursively get rid of those directories. Unless they're gone. Now I'm going to go and get rid of this cheese file I made really quick. Let me just close it in the editor there. That's not in the exercise, but I made one just to show you I can do any of them. All right. And finally, last thing we get to is exiting your terminal. Remember, PWD, CD tilde. That's where we're at. Okay. Exit. Done. That is the command line crash course. Remember, you just saw me do this super fast. 
So go back through the book, take your time, type these things in. As you can see, it's very quick, very easy. I've been doing this for a long time though, so uh, you just take your time, and you'll be able to figure it out. All right, do that, and then start off with exercise one.